I have my screen recorder running. Now here is the, right, I'm in diagnostics. And here's the actual position. The, this is the X and the Y value of the encoders that's on the X and the Y motor. The dual encoder position. This is your auxiliary X and Y encoder numbers. So as I move the machine, you'll be able to see the encoder numbers change. So if all four of these encoder numbers are, are changing, that tells me that both the auxiliary and the encoders on the X and Y motors are both working. So I'm just going to move it left, right. You notice that the X encoders are numbers are changing in both the actual encoder position and the dual encoder position. That tells me both the X encoders are working. So if I move the machine back and forth between the bars, watch the Y encoder numbers. The main, uh, the actual pos position is changing. That is your X and Y motor encoder numbers. Also, my dual encoder position numbers are changing. That is the Y auxiliary encoder number. So so both the X and Y encoders on the motors and the auxiliary encoders are working on my machine. Now on the Y it's easy. I'm just going to raise the encoder wheel up off of the machine wheel and I'm going to spin this by hand. You can see you can see how it changes. See how it changes. Now, the X one's not changing because I'm not turning it. Okay? So, I also, I raise my machine up and I put a block underneath the machine so that the X wheel could not touch the track. And I just spin the wheel, the actual machine wheel, and you can see that my X encoder numbers, the dual X encoder numbers, are in fact changing. So that tells me that this, both these encoders on the auxiliary, they're both working. So if that was the case, and I still had nothing whenever I move the machine left or right and in the based mode, what I would do next is I would simply uninstall CS7 and reinstall it and see if that takes care of the problem. So that's, that's how I go about checking things like that, especially when you're working with the encoders.